In this video, I will demonstrate how to operate both a silent burner and a roar burnered stove. You will need to preheat your stove with good quality denatured alcohol like this product here. Always use a quality grade one kerosene in your kerosene burning stove, whether silent or roarer. Put the denatured alcohol in the spirit cup underneath the burner. Fill the spirit cup, but not all the way. Leave a little room at the top so it won't splash out when burning. Light the alcohol in the spirit cup with your flame. And make sure that your vent screw is open so that the stove does not pressurize early. It can take several minutes for the denatured alcohol to heat the burner head to full operational status. That's not a real exciting thing to watch, so I'll cut that section out and we'll jump ahead a bit. I will allow the Roarer burner to self-ignite. To do this, you close the vent screw when almost all of the alcohol has burned away. When almost all of the alcohol on the Roarer burner has burned away, apply two or three full pumps. That will pressurize the stove enough to force the kerosene into the burner head and begin the vaporization process. The stove burner will emit gaseous kerosene vapor and the stove will light itself. With the silent burner you want to allow all of the alcohol to burn out of the spirit pan before igniting the stove at the top of the burner. First close the vent screw, apply two or three strokes of pressure to the tank and use your flame to ignite at the little holes on the top of the cap. You can apply additional strokes of pressure to bring the silent burner up to full flame. Add more pressure to the tank on the roar to bring it up to full flame. Kerosene pressure stoves operate on pressure. The more pressure, the bigger the flame. If you need a smaller flame, you can reduce some of the pressure by venting it out the vent screw. If you need more flame, you can apply additional pressure. As the fuel in your tank decreases over time, you can apply more pressure to keep the flame at its robust level that you've chosen. If your tank is only partially full when you begin the process, you will find that you need to add more pressure more frequently during the cooking that you plan on doing. As the fuel is decreased, you'll add more pressure to the stove. Vent pressure from the stove using the vent screw to reduce the size of the flame. The stove is controlled by using the vent screw and the pump. By using the vent screw to reduce pressure, you should be able to obtain a very medium flame or a very low simmer without difficulty. To turn the stove off, simply open the vent screw and allow all the pressure to leave the stove. <laughs> Thank you.